Hey everyone, Icarus here with an Overwatch post gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be playing Bastion on Hollywood and we switched to Junkrat a little bit later on. I'm going to be trying to focus on critiquing myself a bit more in this episode and explaining why I do things since I've got some really good feedback and basically they said that I should try and do that and so I'm going to try it out and I, th I agree with them, I think it would be much better. So. I start out on Bastion here, just a quick introduction to this match while we're getting set up. Although I will go over this, I am going to destroy all the rails, and the reason for why I do this is because rails will block your shots, so you want to get rid of them, especially since enemies will have the low ground, which means they can often shoot over the rails, or you will have to shoot through them. That's why you want to destroy that. Here I'm just also messing around, since I found out switching forms with Bastion actually fully reloads them. Now, as I said, a bit of an introduction to this match. I start on Bastion, giving into the cancer that Bastion is for a little bit. And I do not have a good match. In fact, this match is pretty much all around horrible until we get to the last point. And this match is basically just going to serve as a never give up sort of thing. And most of the good plays happen on the Junkrat. It's actually probably my best game I've had on Junkrat so far. So we look forward to that. Here, I see the Reaper flanking around, I'm going to shoot him down a bit, and this is actually a mistake I make. At the time, I think it was the right play to go and try and pursue him at down in recon mode, but the results of just jumping down are pretty far flung. As you can see, two heroes managed to get past our initial defense, and because I jumped down, we basically lose our defenses. Now, I'm going to make another mistake right here as well. I go up here, and I'm thinking about setting up, but then I actually get pretty greedy, I'm like, oh, I want to go up onto this elevator, and I just end up getting killed off because of it. When I should have just set up and tried to kill the enemies that still weren't fully set up on the point, because I tried to get greedy, they kind of took control of it, my team went down, and we just end up losing it pretty quickly here. And I'm gonna change my hero, I'm about to do it, but, as you will see in a second, they take the capture point, so because I took so long considering what hero I want to play, I actually just end up losing the capture point. Now I'm going to go ooh, try and kill this Reaper, obviously because he's there, but my aim is awful, so I end up going down. Most of the reason why I think I had so much difficulty killing him there is because I wasn't burst firing with Bastion. You want to burst fire with Bastion because he his uh, he'll be more accurate essentially. His first few shots, just like Soldier 76 as I explained in yesterday's video are much more accurate than his the rest of them so you always want to be just first firing as much as possible to get the most accurate shots you can and here I switch off to Junkrat because I just want to try and be on the defense as much as possible Junkrat's really good at stopping massive groups of enemies and another good part about Hollywood is that you can go onto these roofs I recommend trying to get the domination up on these roofs because it allows you to get good angles on enemies and shoot down f on them from areas you can't normally. Now there, I'm just experimenting with launching myself further away with a mine, it didn't work. It's something I also recommend you always be doing, is just testing out things in your game. Just when you have a spare moment, try out some technique that you think might work. Here I'm just sort of shooting off, but fortunately that McCree is going to take me down again. I was not paying enough attention to my surroundings. Because of that, he was able to sneak up behind me and just take me out with a flashbang. Now, I, I take a pretty inefficient route down those uh, chairs. I should have just gone around the side. But at this point, I was getting pretty frustrated. I was like, well, you know, we're losing. I have two eliminations, but I have the gold medal. Like, this is really annoying. And I, I was getting frustrated, though. I, I won't try and hide that. Sword of 76 is using his ult. So, obviously, I'm going to back out. Do not want to get hit by that. Wait before grabbing that health pack. In fact, even grabbing that health pack was pretty risky. Now, nope. just gonna end up going down again, and as I said, I'm getting pretty frustrated. But this game, as I said, it, start, it serves as an example of why you should never give up in Overwatch. Even though I was really far down, I was like, oh man, I have this gold medal, I have two eliminations and I have the gold medal. This, this is why you don't give up. You can always turn the game with a good ultimate, and that's what happens right here. They're pushing in, and I get a three-man rip tire, and this is where the second rip wi uh, wind happens. This is where I get on the ball and just start going ham. Managed to get a nice 
uh, nice pipe, I guess is the term, for getting the direct hit with Junkrat there. And now I'm just going to set up a trap. Something I recommend that you do with Junkrat is setting up traps in choke points. That one's a decent one. I think I should have been setting them up further up. Reaper's going to drop in an ult, and a second Reaper's going to drop in an ult, and I'm just going to try and hit them with as many direct hits as possible. Piping people, or direct hitting them with Junkrat, is what you want to always be aiming for. He's actually got one of the e more easy guns to aim with in the game mode, say, but you don't just want to spam it out. If spamming it out, will, you'll be effective, Junkrat, essentially. You'll be average. I'm going to try and throw a trap up here, and I messed that up. And get a bit aggressive moving into that point. Junkrat said, the trap behind me gets triggered, and that's a, a pretty big mistake I made to not just immediately turn to that, because you should try and pay as much attention to possible as your trap location. Because I messed up my trap placement, I just sort of forgot it was there and didn't pay too much attention to it. I'm going to set it up again, and as I've already been saying, I should be setting these up further up. The enemy is being incredibly aggressive, uh, so, or uh, I'm not, excuse me, most of the fighting is happening further up, so I should be setting up there, sent out a rip tire. I detonated that one pretty early, don't end up getting any kills because of it, but that's because it was probably just going to be killed off anyway. Now here, I actually hear Reaper's footsteps around me, I know there is a Reaper in the area, I just don't know where, so I'm going to back off because I don't want to get jumped down and have die 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 happen on me gonna back off into this corner and just destroy these railings while Soldier 76's ult is going on because you always want to be doing something while playing the game. You don't want just want to be backing off and hiding for no reason. Zarya is gonna walk into my trap so it does end up paying off and as soon as they walk into the trap basically what you want to do is just aim for them and detonate the mine. Now I'm looking for another trap spot. I, since people have been coming up into that area I set it up over there. That's another thing you want to pay attention to is where people are moving as a Junkrat, your traps can actually one-shot most heroes, most low health heroes, 200 health heroes, if they get in the trap and there's a mine there, you can just detonate it and it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Lucio's used his ult now, so I'm just going to get as aggressive as possible since they have that extra HP pool. And it's just much safer to play around. As soon as the Lucio uses his ult, I recommend you just try and go ham, run into the thick of the fray, and try and bring people down as you have... You're just so much more tanky with that extra HP pool. Now here I'm just sitting in the back, not trying to get too close to the enemy, just spamming out the pipes. See Reaper's ult goes off. I'm going to rip tire since they're all pushing in. There's going to be a group of people. Detonate it immediately. You never want to hold onto the Junkrat tire. You always want to detonate it pretty much as soon as you can get a kill, because the longer you leave it out, the easier it is for enemies to take out. It does only have a 100 health pool, and so good aim can just take it out in a couple of, of seconds, even less if they're being super accurate with it. Well, here I'm playing a bit more aggressively. I'm going to set up the trap up there, because a lot of enemies have been moving through that area. I'm going to go for that McCree. Managed to hit him with a direct shot. So the reason why I'm playing so far back is because I don't want to get caught out of position. If you're playing too far forwards, you can have enemies flank around you easily, but if you play further back and play to the chokes, it's a lot harder for enemies to flank around you. It's a lot harder for them to get the drop on you. Here I see there's a Reinhardt there with his barrier, so I'm going to try and destroy that as quickly as possible. I know a lot of enemies are going to be moving in behind that, so destroying it is imperative. And since they're in such a tight choke point, it's even better. In that tight choke, it's really easy to just hit people with rockets. Here the, to uh, the uh, Zarya ult goes off. I throw out the mine to try and protect myself. Thankfully, our Lucio is able to get off a really good fight, a uh, good ult, and that's going to keep us all alive. I am going to use my ult. This ult is not going to be very effective at all. I used it after the really good fight, and it's actually going to get glitched under these stairs. I did not think something like that was going to happen, but it did. During all of that, I realized that the Reinhardt was killing me. But unfortunately, there's nothing really much that you can do in a situation like that with Riptide. You could technically turn it around, but there's a good chance that you'll die as well. I was just hoping that my team would be able to take him out, and they were. So again, I'm just going to be shooting pipes through that little tiny gap there. It's very hard for enemies to take me out from that position, and a lot of them are going through that area, so I want to be shooting my shots in there, since there's going to be people just getting hit by them, even if I'm not getting the direct hits. I'm going to be able to get a direct hit on that Reinhardt though and just try and save him and 
Here, as you see, I get on a 20 player kill streak, and since this is my first time getting it, I get the tea time achievement as a reward. And now, they are just trying to push in. They're pretty desperate at this point. With only one minute left, they're not really playing as a coordinated team. They're all trying to push in now. Zenyatta uses his ult. I'm going to back off since there's no point in shooting in and try and get off a good Reptire. Going to go behind the Reinhardt shield and des detonate it. There I focused on the Mercy. You always want to try and focus on the supports with a Reptire because the supports is what are what is going to win the fight. They're going to provide the healing that makes taking out the other players nearly impossible. So taking out the supports is always your imperative. Even better if it's Mercy since you can usually get Mercy in someone else. Now we've only got 20 seconds left, but we could still lose during this time because of overtime. So I'm going to try and play a bit more aggressively, move up, just continue to try and get those pipes in, burst down the Reinhardt shield. And Lucio has used his ult, so I'm going to run in, I'm going to try and get some people. Want to take out that Reinhardt since he could be a nuisance later on, on the back lines. And we're just going to win the game, they weren't able to get onto the payload, and that really is just the perfect example of why you should never give up in Overwatch. I started out really badly just making poor plays with Bastion. We lost the first two points in a matter of minutes, but we managed to hold the last one for seven and ended up winning the game because of that. Also, uh, with Junkrat as well, you should try and go for those direct shots, try and focus on where people are moving. The most important skill with Junkrat, and I, I do actually upvote myself here. It's because I was pretty proud of getting my first 20 plus kill streak in this game. As I was saying though, the most important thing with Junkrat is that you pay attention to where people are moving. Because it allows you to spam into areas that you know people are going to be moving through so you can get the good damage out on them. It allows you to put traps there. It's just all around the right place to do. Just pay attention to where people are going and as well as that, recommend bursting down Reinhardt shield. So the gameplay is going to end here. Not entirely sure if there's going to be a black screen or what, but I just want to talk a bit more about Junkrat and stuff like that. Another pretty important thing to do with Junkrat is stay back. You can do a lot of damage from long range, an actual surprising amount. His uh, grenades have no damage fall off, so you want to try and stay in a position that you can't be flanked from. If you can't be flanked, it's a lot harder for enemies to actually kill you off, and you are one of the most crucial tools to preventing the enemy team from actually pushing in because they'll have to push through grenades, they'll have to push through traps and mines, so getting killed off by being in a position where you can get caught out easily is not a good move as you saw on that final point of Hollywood. I was either sitting in the back parking lot in an area where I'd know if an enemy was coming around to kill me, or I was sitting in that little choke point before the back parking lot where again I'd know if an enemy was coming around to kill me and there's two sides where they just can't approach from there, they have to approach from in front of me or behind me. So I hope this has been informative to you, I hope it works. How do you like the new style where I try to be more in depth and explain my choices more and be a bit more critical of myself? Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions on that and as always any criticism, comments, anything like that is really helpful to me. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like. If you want to see the next video, which will be coming out tomorrow hopefully, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, I've been Icarus, and I'll see you in the next one.